Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast uh, for uh, Monday, April 12th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over our Patreon, where you get access to our full technical analysis, our, uh, our online trades, and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we have rallied quite a bit here in the, based in the weekend. We reached a uh, give or take uh, 60,800 60, before we broke down quite well. And today we are trading, rallying yet again. So if you look at technical indicators, they are, well, they are fairly bullish at this point. MACD is still in bullish territory, crossing the signal line. CCI is about, no, Stochastic is about to cross the signal line. CCI is uh, approaching uh, very bullish territory and the RSI is also bullish. So we may go and head back towards these previous highs. If that breaks, then we can see uh, 65,000, 60, uh, 65,000, and then probably also 70,000. Break down from here, middle of the bullish band, it will be supportive, and so will the 50 moving average. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to rally yet again. We have found support down here at the 20 exponential. And at the moment, we're trading at 21, uh, 2113. Technical indicators are all very bullish. Pullbacks from here will most likely find support at the 20 exponential at 1939. Uh, uh, and the top of the bullish band will probably be major resistant at 2269. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, basically nothing is happening here. Uh, we tried to rally towards the top of the bullish band yesterday and then we broke down. And today we're basically just hanging around here just above the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is uh, bearish at this point. CCI, uh, Sarcastic is bearish. CCI is just underneath the bullish territory, becoming bearish and the RSI is flat. So if we rally from here, Top of the bullish band will most likely be where we'll find resistance. Breakdown from here will most likely find the major support at 1.15, which is the 15 moving average. So let's look at Litecoin. So there have been a few of these uh, cryptocurrencies that have been absolutely rallying the last few trading days. Litecoin is one of them. So 254 is where this is trading at this current stage. It was up around 10%, 11% to the this morning, uh, technical indicators, they are all uh, favoring the upside or all bullish at this point, but we are significantly overstretched. And uh, this has um, had major rallies in the past. For example, we see it here where we have been significantly outside. Uh, but when we reach uh, RSI um, territory of uh, 80, give or take, this usually falls apart. We're at 70 at this point. So there is still a room in at least in the RSI historically uh, to the upside. Usually when it breaks down, it breaks down towards the 50 moving average, as you saw here and here and also here. And that has been major support in the past. So most of the cryptocurrency looked like they were going to fall apart when they basically broke the 50 moving average back here in the end of March. But since then, we have been absolutely rounding to the upside. This has almost a double in value in, in just one month. So let's look at uh, NEO. So also NEO has uh, rallied. Uh, we are not, uh, we are fairly uh, overbought uh, compared to Litecoin, for example. Uh, technical indicators are all also turning around. MACD is bullish, the C Stochastic is becoming bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is significantly overbought at this point. There's quite a lot of room to the upside when considering the top of the bullish band. Uh, but breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at the 52 at the bet that is basically at the 20 exponential and the middle of the bullish band at 50. So let's look at the dash. So dash has also uh, rallied quite a bit here in the in the weekend. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. This is more of a gradual grind to the upside. Uh, it usually gets fairly volatile when it gets outside of the bullish band here. We can also see right here that it basically can lose uh, nearly half of its value in, in no time. But this has been a fairly gradual grind to the upside. We had a crossing here of the 20 and the 50, and since then it basically has been rallying. So we're getting close to the top of the bullish band, and we're getting close to 300, which most likely will be quite uh, quite resistant. Breakdowns from here will most likely find support at the 20 exponential at 200 and 
30, give or take, and the middle of the bullish band at 240, and the 30 should be um, supportive. So let's look at Kron. So this has been on a massive wild ride uh, recently. So it basically rallied from 0 0.05 all the way up towards 0 0.14, broke down again at 0 0.10, and then rallied yet again, and now we're trading at 0 0.1180. Technically, they are, well, they are very all over the place. MACD is still bullish, but it looks like it's going to cross the signal line. Uh, Stochastic is flat. The CCI is getting um, out of positive territory, out of underneath 100. And uh, RSI is technically flat at this current stage. But we're trading sideways. So that usually is also a bullish shine, uh, considering that we did not fall all the way down to the to the 20 exponential, which is supportive. So we could see this grind slowly to the, to the sides and we'll have the 20 exponential moving this way and then we'll continue to the upside. The breakdowns from here most likely found the major support at the 20 exponential. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.